guys, this is Vivex from Team Pondex, and today I'm going to bring you a deck profile. Uh, this is my take on my good friend Miracle Sworn 777's Rock Stun deck. Um, I will admit right now that this is very similar to his with a couple added kinks, I think. Um, I will try to put a link to his channel either somewhere in here or in the description below. Uh, this deck is a deck in progress. It, this deck so far is pretty budget. A couple of expensive cards in here, but for the most part it's pretty cheap. Uh, I like this deck uh, because of its consistency and its ability to take away your opponent's plays. Um, it did really good when my friend played it uh, at Locals. And it, it went 5-0 in, until semifinals, I believe it was. And uh, he got his first loss, and just so happened to be also the the match to me. Uh, he opened up really poorly against my Chaos Dragons, and so I managed to beat him down before he could stop me. But now the Chaos Dragons aren't a problem anymore. This deck really doesn't have much of a uh, real uh, rival. So without further ado, let me just get started. Uh, because this is Rockstone, you run... Triple Guardian, Triple Wall, and Triple Sandman. This is your, uh, this is part of the main stun build. This is the Kwaki Marus. Um, Guardian negates effects, Wall negates spells, and Sandman negates traps. They all have to tribute themselves at a cost in order to negate it. Um, also you have to, re you can reveal at end phase uh, but that's in order to keep the monster. If you do not reveal, then it gets destroyed. And you have to reveal a rock-type monster, and these are all rock. Uh, they are all level 4 with 1900 attack and 1200 defense. Uh, these guys open up a lot of really cool plays, and I think it's one of the more creative parts of this build. It's the ability to negate. Uh, next up we have... Let's see here. Stuck. Triple Black Golem. This card just came out in the Return of the Duelist, and it is so broken for this deck. It requires all monsters in your graveyard to be Earth, and so that does put some limitations on what you can do, but it still really doesn't hurt the deck that much. Um, you can summon it, and then whenever you want, you can tribute it to the graveyard, and special summon two rock monsters. Two level four rock type monsters uh, from your graveyard, uh, and their effects cannot be activated that turn. So if you do special summon Kwaki Marus, they're basically beat sticks or overlay material. So this guy is really good in the ability to uh, bring stuff back. We also have Triple Fossil Dina. Uh, this card is extremely broken in this deck. It's a rock level four. You cannot exceed with it while it's on the field because, well, it negates special summons, so you cannot declare uh, an XYZ just like you can't declare a synchro summon. That bites a little bit, but this actually really does stop most decks. Um, so you can summon it, and you can save zone it, and so basically it's almost invincible until your opponent MSTs this or attacks it. Uh, it can attack it, I think. Let's see. Uh, I believe it can it can be attacked, but it's just not destroyed by battle. So if it has an attack position, you can take some damage, but your opponent still can't special summon. Or you can just set it and destroy all special summon monsters. So that's pretty good. Uh, safe stones, by the way, are going for about 20 bucks, so that's one of the expensive parts of the deck. I do just have safe zones and another car another card in here that's not with the spell and traps, just to let you know. Uh, so if any of you are going to net deck, I, it, it's not respectable, but if you do, uh, it's safe zone and another card, so watch out for it. And then, this is the part that my good friend came up with himself. It's the Psychic Engine. So, you run triple Psychic Commander. Uh, this guy is especially good because it's level 3, so if you want, you can overlay with these or with Black Golem. It, it does help, especially when I get to the extra deck, I'll explain that. Uh, also opens up synchro plays, and you can reduce a, your, a, a monster's attack with him. So uh, it, it basically becomes another beat stick, opens up more options, it allows you to play emergency teleport, 
so a ninja deck, special summons monsters, is just really good. Um, in this new format, you can run triple E tellies, but considering they're, um, I, I don't consider any other psychic monsters that are earth, because they have to be earth for black golem, to be really playable enough that you would actually run a third E tally, because you still do draw into these, and uh, that's why you only play two. Uh, you, you can try to run three. Uh, definitely let me know how that goes, but I do not expect it to be as good as just running two. Uh, so that, let me just say it again, was Miracle Sworn Triple Seven's idea, not mine. And I, it's a really good, uh, it's a really good thing. Uh, I don't know if this was him also or not, but he also played double King Tiger, King Tiger Wengu. Uh, this card is really good in that it takes away a lot of uh, smaller monsters in the now meta decks. And so he's really good, but you have to be careful when you play him because uh, other than your Kwaki Murus, this can actually destroy your own stuff. So be very careful when you play it and how you use it. Uh, so just fair warning. And then I decided to tuck this card in, Black Man. Black Man, uh, this is the other Lego uh, creature other than uh, Black Golem, and essentially what he does is, whenever he's sent to the graveyard, I think it is, uh, oh, no, by tributing this face-up card, uh, you get a number of block tokens, which are basically uh, him, uh, equal to the number number of turns this card has been faced up on the field. So, uh, I believe you can save zone him, and then just wait it out, and then tribute him whenever you want to get, like, five tokens. And so, he's really good, and also I just love how, like, I have two different LEGO guys in my deck. So, I like that. Uh, that's all for the monster count. Now we'll move on to spells. Double duality. Uh, you, even when this card was unlimited, you still wouldn't pl play three, and so this card being hit by the ban list really doesn't uh, matter too much. Two is the perfect amount to play in this deck. Uh... A lot of decks that do run dualities would only run two anyway. So, it doesn't really hurt that it was hit. Uh, double Lance. Uh, depending on what kind of player you are, Lance, Smashing, or Soul Taker are great cards for this, for this deck. Um, Lance is good for getting over higher monsters and also saving your own. Uh, well, that's standard for why you'd play Lance. Smashing is good for your general destruction. Uh, in Soul Taker, uh, basically all that you use it for, because you kind of want to get your opponent down, your opponent's life points down as fast as you can anyway. Soul Taker does hinder that, but what I do love about Soul Taker, it allows you to target the monster you want to kill. With Smashing Ground, you kind of have to play around to get the target you want. And so that's the plus side of Soul Taker. Uh, a lot of my friends uh, don't agree with me and say that Soul Taker it's not as good now that Chaos Dragon is dead, but uh, I, I think I, I still like the ability to target, and that's just me. Now we play the Staples, Monster Born, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm. These are still typical staples, even in this format. They didn't get touched. And then Avarice, because this deck has a lot of monsters and a lot of cards you want to recycle back into your deck. Like if you used all your commanders, but you still have an E-Teleport left, or your block golems are used up, you still want them back, or you want your Dinas, Fossil Dina, however you want to pronounce it, Dina, 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 <laughs> uh, still, recycle them, it's good. And plus you get to draw two cards, which is great. Uh, for the traps, we have two Call of Haunted, this card is so funny, I might bump it up to three, but right now two is great. Uh, you, you set this card, and you can actually chain it to your opponent's uh, effects, bring back your Kawaki Marus, tribute them, and basically uh, troll your opponent. I love that. Uh, this does stay on the field, though, and so it's kind of risque, but uh, just the fact that you're able to do that to your opponent, I find, is really funny. Uh, also, you can bring back Black Golem and stuff. You know, typical Call of the Haunted deal. Uh, double threatening. Uh, I think this is another thing that Miracle Sworn Triple Seven also played, uh, especially him. 
And I also like the idea because sometimes you don't get what you want in your hand, and this card allows you to stall for a little bit. And sometimes you actually need that, especially when working around beat sticks. Uh, this this deck has a lot of uh, right out beat sticks, but not like you know plus twenty five up, you know, not those kinds. And then we have two magical cylinder. Uh, this card is currently unlimited in the new firm format, which I think is highly broken. Um, this card is great. If your opponent has beat sticks, then you can cylinder them and they'll take the damage. And so if you've done uh, at least substantial damage, this this card can go for a game or at least severely hurt your opponent. It, it's another way around beat sticks other than destroying them, and I just really like having that option. And the last card is a Mirror Force. Uh, Mirror Force is at 2, but uh, I still like it right now at 1 uh, in, in the main deck. I like it at 1 just as a destruction card. Uh, that's the main deck. I believe it's 40 cards, and we'll go on to the extra deck. For the extra deck, I play 2 Silver Mountains. Uh, this is another new card in the, in the Return of the Duelist set. It is really broken if you do get it off with uh, Psychic Commander, Block Golem, however you decide to do it. Uh, one of its, its first effect, uh, while you use one of your materials on this card, the two of them, you need two level threes, uh, and destroy a set card, I think a set spell or trap card your opponent controls, and so it's, it's an MST. Uh, its second effect is while it has materials still on it, if it kills a monster, you can special summon uh, one Earth-type mo monster back from your graveyard. Uh, it works especially well with this deck, but I even played like an uh, X-Saber build with this deck where it spammed on Fault Roll, which was pretty funny, let me tell you. But uh, this card is just really great if you do get it out. And so I highly recommend that you get at least two of those. Uh, you don't get them out as often you as, as you would think, so three is actually kind of a waste of money. Uh, run one wind up Zenmeister just to spam on Dina. I usually don't get them out too often, mostly because I I've safe zoned the Dina, so there's really no need to like flip it face down. But I have them just in case. Uh, I run a Fairy King. This is another new card from the Return of the Duelist. This card is one of the cards that gets over beat sticks. It can crash into a 28, uh, that's not an earth monster, because it weakens it by 500 by detaching. Uh, I actually have a second one on order, so just imagine here's the second one, but I do run two when it gets here. Uh, really good. Next we'll run triple Gem Knight Pearl. Uh, it's another rock, earth, still works for the deck, 26 beat stick. The only problem I have with it is because it has no way to dump stuff in the graveyard. Uh, I can't like spam as much as I'd like to with Block Golem, but it's still a fair price to pay for having a, another really big beat stick on the field. That's all for the Xyz monsters. Next we have a Gaia Knight, another beat stick for Synchro Summoning, Iron Chain Dragon, uh, Milling, two level sixes. Either you're going to overlay with your threes or Synchro with them. It's whatever you decide to do. It just gives you more options. Uh, and then we have two Scrap Art Trained. Uh, this is for your typical Psychic Commander you, that you got with the Atelier Summon with your standard level 4s. So, really good. Another beat stick. A little higher than Gem Knight Pearl. Uh, next, of course, you got your tokens. I'm actually going to just make three more of this guy. Uh, I have scapegoat in my side deck, so I still need tokens. So, these are just my personal tokens. You'll want your own. For the side deck, I run one Grammel, another Rock, Bounces, good side deck. Another Blockman, third Wangu, uh, double Monolith. It's basically a Dark Hole that is really nice with Block Golem. Uh, it destroys all monsters, so be careful. It also destroys your own. Uh, with less attack than the attributed rock type monster, so you can tribute itself. Anything with uh, 1,000 or less defense is destroyed. 
Uh, or you can tribute like a Kawakimaru or a Dina, whatever you want. It's a Dark Hole. Uh, next we got Double Torrential, Double Chain, Double Bottomless. Uh, I'm actually going to try to main to Warning, but I need to go get some of those. Basically, you side in a lot of destruction cards to make up for what you don't main. Uh, and so I need to go get like some Smashing Grounds and Soul Takers and all that good stuff. The third cylinder, second mirror force, and the goat. And that pretty much makes up my side deck. So guys, this has been Vivex showing off uh, my edited version of Miracle Swarm Triple Seven's uh, Rock Stun deck. If you guys want, uh, I can try to get another video from him on what he's doing with the deck. Uh, he is a very creative person and has so many different fun decks. Uh, I love having him on the channel. Uh, when he does come on here, but he does have his own. Make sure you check it out, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.